At this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. Good morning, young ones. You ladies look lovely this morning. Do you remember what went down yesterday with my foot in Emerson? Sorry, last Sunday, not yesterday. What happened, Faith? She stepped on my foot. Did I like that? No. But um, did I go and talk to her about it later? I guess you don't know that, but I did. I said thank you because it was actually a, a ploy to get my daughter to do something mean to me so I could talk about something terrible that happened. But the chances are, since you two are sisters, once in a while you may do something just in proximity to each other that maybe isn't very nice. I hope not. I pray not. Well, do you know how many times in the ancient world the Jewish rabbis said you should forgive someone? It's very similar to baseball, Lydia. How many strikes do you get? Yes. Three strikes. Excellent. Your vast knowledge of baseball served you there. The ancient Jews said that you get three times you're supposed to forgive someone. The fourth time they hurt you? No way. So Peter walks up to Jesus and he says, Lord, what if I forgive my brother seven times? That's a lot, right? How many times does your sister have to do something mean to you and you forgive her? After seven times, would you stop? Well, you're going to think about that for a little bit. Do you know what Jesus told Peter? How many times are you supposed to forgive someone? I tell you not seven times, but... Yes? 75. 75? Close. That is an awesome answer. Faith, any, any guesses? It's either, the Greek could be translated 77, or 70 times 7. How's your math skills? What's 70 times 7? Yes? 70, it's actually 490. Now, do you think you could keep track of 490 times that your sister did something mean to you? No, I, I, I can't really count past three very well. But yeah, it's hard. Well, okay, I think what Jesus is getting at is that he wants you to forgive people just freely no matter what. Don't keep track. But I have to say on the back end of this, does God want you to be a physical or emotional punching bag for your sister? No. If someone keeps on doing something mean to you, whether it be in your home, at school, at work. Do you know what I've told my children? Stay away from that kid. He's dangerous. Don't go near him. That's good counsel. Your God does not want you to just keep on getting beat up. He wants you to forgive the person, but you don't have to let yourself be harmed. There's a certain amount of self-preservation that goes in. But forgiveness is not optional. Let's talk to God about this because we need some help. Dear Jesus, I have a hard time forgiving once. Not to mention forgiving without counting. Help me to be forgiving just as You have been forgiving to me. You forgive me for all the times that I don't even remember when I sinned. Lord, be with me as I go forward with Your grace and forgive as You have forgiven me. Amen. You're excused to go sit uh, in Sunday school.